You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Several to the hospital. Thanks for being here for your local news at 6. I'm Marley Capper. We start our broadcast off with breaking news. Around 5 p.m., our crews arrived to Mattis Street near the Craft Factory. Upon arrival, they saw two cars that appeared to be in a crash. First responders had to use the Jaws of Life tool to retrieve one of the victims involved. We are waiting for updates on the crash and those who were involved. Now, moving to our eye on COVID 19. Pleased that we were able to weather this COVID storm, this um, Omicron COVID storm. COVID hospitalizations are plummeting following the post holiday spike. The conversation is starting again on when COVID 19 mitigations could go away. WCIA 3 Cole Hankey is live from our Capitol Newsroom. Cole, Governor Pritzker noticed how much progress the state has made. That's right. Over the last week alone, new hospitalizations for COVID in the, st in the state dropped 31%, and that's after a 20% drop the week prior to that. Now, case numbers are also dropping as well, with cases being cut in half since last week. Now, for weeks before the holidays, Pritzker was asked when the state may lift mitigations like the mask mandate. Now that numbers are going down, he is finally entertaining the possibility. I believe that we should remove masks as soon as we possibly can. I am constantly listening to the doctors and scientists and encouraging them. When can we do this? What's the right time? What's the right way to do it? And so very hopeful we'll be able to make some announcements about that. Now, despite the drop in cases and hospitalizations, the numbers are still relatively high compared to numbers in the dips pr in prior uh, months of the pandemic. That's because they're dropping from record high totals that we had never seen before throughout the pandemic. Now, the governor has not put any goals into place as to where he wants those statistics to reach before he lifts those mandates. That's just a decision on his end that he would ultimately make the call on. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCI3. Your local news leader. Cole, thank you so much. Staying on the topic of COVID-19 mandates, a Sangamon County judge dealt a major blow to Governor Pritzker's school mask mandate. Starting Monday, the court's temporarily restraining orders means schools would have no longer have to enforce a mask mandate for students or a vaccine or testing mandate for staff. Teachers unions say the ruling will cause a major confusion for school districts. You know, I think there is going to be a lot of confusion and uh, there'll be districts that'll be working hard to make sure they maintain the mask mandate and the vaccine mandate for employees and things like that. Uh, and there, there may be other districts who aren't really even covered by the decision who will say, well, I guess we don't have to do that. The attorney general's office asked the appellate court to issue a stay on the judge's order immediately, warning this decision could, quote, force schools to go remote, unquote. If the stay is granted, the judge's ruling would not go into effect and case would go to the appellate court. Now, some lighter news in Tuscola. You may have heard of a free library box. You know, the ones on the corner of the street. You take a book, you give a book. But have you ever heard of a free sled library box? Well, Girl Scout Troop 2790 in Tuscola is giving people an opportunity to sled at Wimple Park. They made a box for people to either use or donate sleds so that anybody could go sledding. When they heard about the winter storm, they figured it was the best time to put it out. The Girl Scout Troop made the box with only guidance from adults. I made them do everything. They measured. Um, they had to um, problem solve, like what size of a box is going to work to fit everything in. You know, um, they worked hard as a group. We have kids from kindergarten all the way to high school in my troop, um, and then my husband came in and helped them with doing the, you know, the drill and, and cutting the boards and stuff. Although the free sled library is at the park, it's not quite finished yet. The Girl Scout troops plan to paint and decorate it for next year. Well, almost everybody in the community has felt the cold that the last few days has brought, but there's a select few who felt the cold on another level. To take away tonight a new perspective. CU at Home hosted their homeless simulation one winter night. The details from last night's event coming up. But first, Jacob Dickey is here. We had a historic week for weather in central Illinois. Yeah, it was a big snowstorm that came on through with the cold and all those travel impacts. We've got to talk about the wind, though, tonight. Some of those wind gusts could be 25 to 35 miles an hour. We're going to talk about how that could impact things tonight and tomorrow. Plus, some freezing drizzle is sneaking into the forecast. I'll explain that coming up after this.